What's going on guys? Welcome back to another bundle review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Dune Part 2 Harkonnen Tracer Pack bundle here in Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare Zombies, and Warzone. Now if you get the whole set, you do get this free skin right here as well, which I will be showcasing for you guys as well. You guys will be able to see the bundles that you would need on the side here once you click on the right bumper. You will see the bundles that you need. I already got all the bundles, so I just need to buy this last one and then I'll get this skin. So make sure you guys claim the other Dune bundles that you need. That way you guys can go ahead and get this skin as well. But here it is. Now this one actually looks sick. This one might be my favorite one out of all of them. Actually, now the first Dune bundle that came out is my favorite one. I like that one. The nice little clean look. This one's my second favorite for sure. We get a Holger 556, a Cat AMR, a Soul Render, a Calling Card, a Large Decal, a Weapon Charm, and an Emblem. All right, so let's go ahead and claim this. And yes, I will be showcasing this skin as well in this bundle review. So let's go ahead and cop it up. And now we have the whole set complete for the Dune set. So I'm pretty sure we are done. Well, I don't think we're going to get any more Dune bundles, at least for the rest of Modern Warfare 3. And I'm assuming that the other Dune bundles are back in the shop. I can't see that because I already have them. So I know a lot of you guys have been asking me, will these return? Now is your chance to pick up these bundles. That way you guys can get this skin or else you probably will not be able to get this skin anymore. So. Alright, here we are in the third person view. And here's a little quick weapon inspect. Oh, shoot. Oh, wow. Tracers actually, hold on. Here's the Cat AMR as well. And we're on the new DOS house. I wish they actually kept the same one from Vanguard because that one's just a classic. <laughs> there we go. So we don't have a sound effect with the Tracers. And here it is in slow motion for you guys. Okay, actually there is a little bit of a sound effect. I do hear it now. And there's a cool little dismemberment too. So we're gonna take a deeper look at that later. And here is the melee weapon in a third person view as well. Oh, dang. Yo, I like that weapon inspect. Oh, shoot. Wait a minute. Whoa. Was that like a, like, a little cut? Like, what? It's like a finishing move type of kill effect. Yo, that is crazy. Here's the running animation with it too. What is that? Why does it do that? That's hard. <laughs> and here's a look at it in slow motion. Look at that. It's like it goes in first person. I don't know what that is. That's so cool though. Here's the Paul Atreides bundles as well. Here's the skin, the free one that you get by collecting all of the bundles that are included with this whole Dune set. Oh shoot. Really nice looking skin. And here's a look at it in slow motion for you guys with the new skin. Really cool. And here's a first person view for everything. And I'm using the Paul Trades bundle as well. Oh, so now we get a better look at the tracers. These seem to be a little bit different. It seems to have the same effect as the other Dune bundles, but it seems to have some dust particles alongside with it. And there's dismemberment as well. Really cool. Here's the weapon inspect for the melee weapon. I like that sound effect. All right, let's see what this thing does. This thing is probably gonna be cheesy in multiplayer. Look at that. Now, I wonder, will this get you killed though? I don't know. Cause that animation could actually hinder this melee weapon from being really good. And here it is in slow motion for you guys. Dang, look at that. That's kind of like a finishing move in itself. And if you guys missed out on my last video, I showed you guys how to get these very, very limited Dune calling cards right here. As you guys can see, the first one right here. And the second one is right here. So make sure you guys check out that video that I posted on how to get them. It's extremely limited. So make sure you guys get them as soon as possible before they're expired. Okay, here we are in zombies now. 
Here's a quick little weapon inspect. Perfect. And as well for the melee weapon. This is actually my favorite item in the bundle. Really cool. I wonder how this is going to be. Here's a quick look at the tracers. So yeah, the tracers are pretty much the exact same as the other ones that we got from the other Doom bundles. Here's what it looks like when you shoot a zombie. Yeah, so you guys can see little particle effects and stuff. Here's what a critical kill looks like. Oh, shoot. Yeah, doesn't really do much. So yeah, you just get that little small little effect and there is a bit of dismemberment and multiplayer and stuff. Here's what the melee weapon looks like on a zombie. Okay, so it looks like it's just like a normal slash. Yeah. And here's what it looks like when you run in third person on zombies as well. I do wish we could have that same melee weapon effect in zombies that we have in multiplayer because that would be so much fun, especially in zombies when you know that you don't really have to go super, super try hard. Here's a mangler kill for you guys. Uh oh. I'm low on armor plates and stuff. There you go. Really cool. And here's a first person view for you guys. Yeah, if it had that same effect, that would have been so cool. And here we are with the other skin that we get for free. Well, not really for free, but an add-on for completing the set. So I guess it is for free because if you just buy this bundle, you won't get the skin unless you completed the set. Here's the cat AMR as well. For the weapon inspect. Let's check out these tracers too for it. All right, cool. Wait, is there a sound effect? Yeah, there's a small sound effect. Yeah, the, the sound, I can't really tell because some of these guns have a interesting sound effect even without tracers. So I don't even know if it's a part of the bundle or if it's just with the skin. <laughs> and here's what it looks like when you run in third person in zombies. Just want to be as detailed as possible for you guys. Yeah, really nice. Yeah, so tracers aren't really too noticeable. <laughs> I feel like you're pretty much buying this bundle for the skins. Especially since they're reusing the same weapons pretty much too. A couple more kills in third person for you guys. And here's some first person action as well for you guys. Yeah, really nice. The KMR is very slow. It has a slow build, so you might want to tweak it a little bit. And here is the flamethrower. Definitely wanted to showcase that for you guys. And here it is in third person as well. So if you guys didn't complete the flamethrower challenge, you get it automatically with this bundle. So there you go. Here's the build for the Holger 556. And here are the multiplayer camos. So yeah, there's nothing too crazy going on with this blueprint. With all the blueprints, honestly. So you can pretty much just see the camo and that's it you know it just covers up the whole weapon except for the magazine but yeah that looks cool though with the large decal yeah and here are the event camos as well for it the walking dead one looks cool nice yeah surprisingly enough Nothing too crazy was really going on with any of the blueprints for any of the Doom bundles. I feel like the first Doom bundle was the best one. And here's the Cat AMR build. And here are the camos for multiplayer. Yeah, it just covers up the whole gun completely now. Yeah. Nothing too crazy going on. And here are the event combos as well. 
Yeah, I probably will not be using this weapon. Because you would have to tweak it a lot because it's a very slow build. And here are the camels for the melee weapon as well. And this looks like it's a new weapon. Yeah, it's a completely new weapon. So you can now unlock it in multiplayer from all for three. Or you can get it from this bundle. So I'll probably go for the zombies camel for it. And here are the event camels for it as well. Really cool. Oh, that looks crazy. Dang. Alright, so that's going to do it for this bundle review. I honestly, to keep it real with you, am not the biggest fan of this bundle. Uh, the only thing I care about with this bundle is literally these. Both of these skins are cool. This skin's definitely the better one, though. And I love this melee weapon and multiplayer specifically because it's super unique. Now, I don't know if it's a glitch. I don't know if it's not supposed to have that or what that little animation where you zoom in and stuff, but it's really cool. I like it a lot. So this is something that's very unique. It's probably not going to be the best for competitive use <laughs> because of that animation, but it's really cool. Yeah, overall, I give it about a 5 out of 10 for this bundle. I still think that this bundle right here is my favorite one out of the Doom bundles. This, this skin is insanely cool and the blueprints look really cool, even though they don't have tracers. This was still one of my favorite bundles from the Dune collection. I do wish it included a finishing move with this bundle as well. That would have been better to have. That's why I do these bundle reviews for you guys. So that way you guys can see what's included in them before you guys purchase them. And remember, in order to get this skin right here, you have to collect. So you're going to have to collect these two bundles right here in order to get that last skin. But thank you guys so much for watching Jax Gaming. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see you guys on the next bundle review. I'm signing out. Peace.